Now, while it's sitting in the cage, the ones I'm eating, because you know I look at them all when they're in the cage, too, and they're not even touching it. You're touching the cage, the cat. That's why on the table, I'll pick a hand. They're going to be, you know, leaning or doing something. But look at the front legs. Can you see how parallel and apart they are? And the toes are facing forward. This is exactly the distance they should be. And anything that you see when they go together like this, pretty close or close. If they're, if they're together like this, it's usually a shoulder pump. And often they're towed out too to give them the stability. It's just like a wall. You want the shoulder blades, I guess, to have all the cats. I don't know if you guys are the same ones here, Bob. You know how the shoulder blades should be like this and not angled out. On, on spaces, you often see that because they want a broad chest. It's a fake broad chest. You see how dogs sometimes do. Because then the legs go out and the elbow like, here. Where are they going? Oh, okay, so then you get a diamond shape in the front. And you've seen that. And that's a you know, like, <laughs> dog suit I've done that. Um, this one has completely perfect shoulder alignment. He's got the 45 degree angle coming down here. Remember, this is the engine and this is the landing gear. <laughs> no, really. Um, and, um, and, uh, and a Japanese bob tail is fairly high on its legs. We were talking about how this cat is one of the few breeds I think people have messed with the least. When I go to Japan, because my aunt wanted me to take pictures of cats, they're homeless, you know, find the cat with the And a lot of them look like this, physically. Some get tails, some didn't. This is a, a super cool thing to do, so it's nice. So you can bring in how many babies bring the chicken bulk of Japanese bulk down so it is a very functional cat. But some people have tails that you can find the temples and stuff. They have quite a direct gear set. You can see the cage right here. Look. It was an accident. He amused, he amused. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the truth. Well, look, see, see, there, there goes the baby. Wonderful profile. Um, good body proportions as far as the worst range. The depth up here. Happy, happy, happy. Loves being judged. Or loves being to the couple of people. Kill me. Um, uh, it's, it's kidding. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Seeking novelty, even when they're puppies, uh, they they go to you. Little kittens will go, blah blah, like a little and come over. And <laughs> that's, a smile, that's a very desirable treat for cats and for show cats especially. We want them to be able to handle all this. The other thing that this one does, I did it. This excellent thing this one has is no startle cats. You see that? They're not. It's not running away. Many cats would. And I told you, yeah, sorry, I can't remember if I told all these people yet. I had some shoes for this guy in the show. Now, a friend of ours raises uh, breeds, uh, border collies, yeah, for a friend of mine. So she puts these little puppies that can barely walk out of the boat in the backyard with white barn guard ducks or something. And because the ones that have a herding instinct will start herding even when they fall off their face all the time because they can already walk. So one of the things she's, she checks for is startle effects, and the way they do it is in pound on a table or like that. Uh, she has little mechanical noses buried in the, in the garden and the remote control. And so take the puppy out like this and right in front of a puppy, so push it and then over pops up. And the ideal is that the puppy goes, oh, what's that? And then goes to the best case. But some of them go, oh my god, they fall on their back and they keep here, you know? <laughs> Those are not the ones she uses for breeding. Okay. Yeah. This is exactly what you want uh, oh, for me. So she is. Yeah, she got out of the bumble. Yeah, he's not the same. And this is exactly what you want. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the yeah. film yeah. yeah. is both imperative yeah. and it has to be she's socialized in weeks one through seven. And I think he has both. He has a couple of She's an ad collection. I see my girlfriend. Very well socialized in weeks one through seven. So bravo, Keith Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. For many, many reasons. Yay! Yay! <laughs>